I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some test problems from 2015 Advanced Functions Unit 2 Rate of Change. We'll discuss these problems one by one so that you are ready for your test. At the end of the given question, I'll also like you to attempt additional question which will help you to understand the topic better. The question here is a batter hits a baseball straight up in the air. The height of the baseball in meters above the ground is given by h of t equals to minus 4.9 t squared plus 23 t plus 2 where t is the number of seconds after the ball is hit. What is the average rate of change in height of the ball over the interval 1.5 to 2 right so that's the interval so you can apply the formula for average rate of change which is so let me write average rate of change is equals to so if you are given two points so let us say f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a correct in this case b is 2 and a is 1.5 so you can substitute these values and find the answer. So basically you have to calculate the height of this ball when t is 2 seconds and then height of this ball when t is 1.5 seconds and divide by 2 minus 1.5. I'll prefer you to do these calculations separately, substitute the values here and then find the answer right so h of 2 will be equals to minus 4.9 2 square plus 23 times 2 plus 2 right that is as calculated by the student I'll just write down the value 28.4 use your calculators h of 1.5 will be minus 4.9 times 1.5 whole square plus 23 times 1.5 plus 2 and when you calculate in this case you get 25.47 let's say 475 so that is what is written in, I'm not using calculator I'm just picking up the values the idea is to tell you how to find the answer right now once you substitute these values here you get average rate of change which is 28.4 minus 25.475 divided by 2 minus 1.5 is 0 0.5 right so when you calculate this answer you will get approximately equals to 2.925 divided by 0 0.5 and that gives you 5.85 now at this stage you may write down this answer and think that the question has been answered but then you will lose a lot of marks let's see why so the idea is not to show you calculations the idea is how to attempt the question right so the first step is very critical which we did correctly if you go back to the question it says that the base that the height of the baseball is in meters above the ground right and time is in seconds so this difference in height actually is in meters and that difference is in seconds so that is meters per second right average rate of change you should have units here meters per second now the answer is 5.85 meters per second now this is critical right so once you do all your calculations don't forget to write your answer clearly right so you should write answer is equals to that average rate of change is 5.85 meters per second so this is what I want to emphasize now a variation to this question is find average rate of change of height of the ball on second second now so find the question is find average rate of change for this scenario for second second now this term second second is very confusing right second second means what let us say if you try to sketch this scenario 
it is from the height of 2. So let us say that's the height of 2 and that's how the ball goes, right? In that case, let us say this is your 1, 2, th these are your divisions in seconds, let us say. Now this is the first second from 0 to 1. Second second is from 1 to 2. You get it? So when we say second second, it means that the time is from 1 to 2. So that is kind of very critical thing to understand since this term second second is used in test papers. So, once, so if that comes for you, instead of giving an interval like 1.5 to 2, if I say second second, then this is how you should understand. First second is from 0 to 1 and the second second is from 1 to 2, right? So this interval from 1 to 2 will be the second second and you're supposed to find average rate of change during this interval. That is what the question becomes. I hope you appreciate that part. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and go through most of the questions which have come in last 10 years. Thank you and all the best.